Okay, good afternoon. A quick Tech Edu Tips video. Uh, I talked about switching to Bitwarden last week, and uh, part of that tie in that, that was I was using um, LastPass and then LastPass Authenticator uh, for my two factor. So, two factor, the most common people use is Google Authenticator on their phones. Um, the problem with that is if you need to change your phone, you need to just reset everything. Um, I like to use Authy, which I'm showing here. Um, it's got lots of uh, apps that it supports, obviously, and there's some two-factor guides you can look at. It's available for iOS, Android, Mac OS, Win32, 64, Linux, the whole thing. Um, so it works really well. I've used it before, actually. What I like about it is um, if you need to change phones or change devices, you can use multiple devices. You don't need to do this kind of dance to shift off. So now I need to shift off, so I'm going to show you how it works. So if I go to say Dropbox, here's an example. The Spanish one I used an example of, uh, what was it, uh, GitHub. And so I'm in Dropbox. Obviously I had two-factor on, but I'm going to turn it back on now. So it's off, I'm going to turn it on, and I need my password. So I'll just go grab my password from Bitwarden here. There we go. So now we're in. And I'm going to say, let's use a mobile app. And I should get my phone ready here. And I'm going to, I've already got Authy installed on my phone. I'm going to bring it up. And they're going to give me a barcode. I'm going to scan this barcode. OK. So I'm going to use this barcode, but I will remove it and then add again, because um, I probably really shouldn't show the barcode, other people could use that. Um, so you could use a, a, a secret key manual if your phone's not working on your phone and that'll just give you a number, a big, huge, long number that you need to uh, put in. And then on my Authy app, it shows me that I'm connecting to Dropbox because it recognizes Dropbox and I'm gonna save that. So there we are, I've got it saved and now it's generating a six number token and it expires every 30 seconds. So I'm going to go through here. I'll go next, and it's going to say, give me one of those six-digit codes. It's two seconds, one second. It's about to change, so it just changed. So I'm going to put in that six-digit code that I just got on my app, and I'll go next. And then it'll ask uh, optional backup number. I'm not going to do that. You should. And I'll say yes. You will want to copy all these codes. Okay, and you want to copy those over. Again, these these will get people into my account if they had my password as well. But just to be safe, I'm going to remove all this when I'm done, and then do it again. Actually, I'm going to use my YubiKey for that, which could be a different video. All right, so I'm going to say next. Pretend I copied those, and we're good to go. All right, so now we're out. So if I actually log out of Dropbox, I can log back in and it should ask me for this six digit code. And I'm going to say trust this computer so it doesn't always ask me. And then I'm going to get another six digit code and that should let me in. But I need that code. So there's two factors. I need my login and password and I need my six digit code to get in. So that's it for Authy. Um, really easy to use, more security. It's a good thing. So um, again, you shouldn't share other, with other people these codes that are showing up. I'm gonna remove that right now before I actually publish the video. Thanks for watching. If you got any suggestions for other videos you'd like, uh, drop it down below in the uh, comments and thanks for watching.